Opposites attract, they say. And in football, there is no truer representation than that of Marco Bielsa and Leeds. Former heavyweights of English football, Leeds last won a title back in 1992, had a resurgence around the 97-98 season before, for reasons we can't go into right now, ended up slinking all the way down the divisions. I think Leeds are that sort of team. It's either all or nothing, pretty much. And when the bad times are bad, they're woeful. It was very easy to look at us going from the Champions League and just dropping completely. And like very few clubs have done. And now it is doing a Leeds. After years of disappointment, what Leeds needed was somebody to steady the ship. What they got was a swashbuckling El Loco. Marco Bielsa is a manager's manager. Admired by the likes of Pep and Poch, his concept is that football's purpose is to bring joy to those who struggle to find joy in their daily lives, using that as an argument for playing a style of football that is easy on the eye. He plays a very exciting, attacking, high pressing, intense brand of football. He once said that if footballers were robots, I'd never lose. He doesn't have robots. He has Patrick Bamford, Calvin Phillips, and a team that has been transformed under his tutelage. But how the hell did he do it? The answer is Bielsable, which is a direct, attacking style of play with plenty of width and a strong focus on numerical overloads and rapid counter-attacks. I believe that what makes Bielsable unique is the fact that he has been able to combine the two dominant uh, ideologies of Argentine football, two extremes, but he combines them into one. On the one hand, there is uh, Menotismo, which is a very nice uh, way of playing football, associative football, uh, very high pressing football. And on the other hand, you have uh, Bilardismo, which is um, basically winning uh, whatever it takes. It's a very analytical as well uh, ideology, it tries to like, know the rival's weaknesses and try to exploit them every time and uh, it has a very big focus in hunger for glory and hunger to, to try to win games. Fitness is key to this system, as well as a military mindset which breeds the understanding that each individual has an equal share of responsibility in the pursuit of success. Defensively, they adopt a 4-1-4-1 formation, with their more advanced players pressing aggressively. In their title-winning championship 1920 season, this worked to perfection, with Leeds conceding the least amount of goals across the campaign. The defensive style intends to force the opposition to either send the ball long or lose it in transition, offering Leeds the opportunity to counter. In attack, Bielsa plays 3-3-1-3, something he's famous for coaching at various clubs throughout his career with mixed success. It's been at the Whites though that the tactic produced magic, the two fullbacks push high up the pitch, with the two centre-halves spreading to fill in for them. This allows Calvin Phillips to drop deeper between the two and control possession from deep. The final piece in the puzzle is one of the central midfielders transitioning from central midfielder to central attacking midfielder. The attacking midfielder then becomes the dictator of the final third, through making pivotal passes through the lines, running at the defence or creating space for his teammates through their movement. This is known as the enganche. Despite some fears that his attacking style might come unstuck in the Premiership, Bielsa has shown some pragmatism by being flexible when needed, all the while sticking to his core principles. 